nine draft bus. Pete Schuler. We were the team that was most hurt and laid by the salary cap. So we were going to have to gut our team and start over. And the feeling was that we're going to start over and start over with a young quarterback. To lead the Renaissance, the Redskins hired Cowboys offensive coordinator Norv Turner as their new head coach. Turner and Casserly began the search for the next Troy Aikman and quickly zeroed in on Tennessee's Heath Shuler. With the uh, third pick of the first round, the Washington Redskins select Heath Shuler, quarterback, Tennessee. I don't think you can really comprehend the, the joy that you feel and the, and the true uh, uh, excitement you know, being drafted. After attending mini camp, Shuler had to wait until late August to get back on the field because of complications with his contract. A lot of the holdout was not his fault. He was signing a contract that had never been signed in the National Football League before, and it was called an option buyback. That's a standard contract right now in the NFL. So the, the lawyers weren't sure how to write this contract. Far too often people think it was a money holdout when it was actually just language of a contract. He walked into a tough situation because he was taking over for a quarterback that won a Super Bowl for that team. Way to go, Mark Rippon, the MVP of Super Bowl 26. I think the veterans didn't receive him very well, and the fans really did. First one, that's the big one. Is this Shula a hunk or what? Shula going to pass it over the middle, picked it off at the 46 yard line. Gone in the end zone, it's going to be picked off. After throwing just eight interceptions in his last year at Tennessee, Shula threw five in one game against the Cardinals. Shula is back to put it up and throws it to the left side. It is that's when you turn around at the end of the game and you think, is it possible for me to ever complete another ball to an offensive guy ever again? Mentally, emotionally, you just think, wow, I, I need some help here. Instead of help, he got competition from fellow rookie Gus Barat, a fan favorite. Barat kind of became the people's quarterback, and Shore became the outsider. And the fans cheered Barat every time he stepped on the field, and they booed Shore. That was the most difficult thing for me to, to, to overcome. And I went into Coach uh, Turner, and I said, Coach, why do these people hate me so much? You know, it emotionally affected me, because I've never had people dislike me ever in my life. <laughs> Issue one, Gus Farrat. How successful will Gus Farrat be? John, if Heath Schuler's performance last week is any measure, which is absolute zero, this guy can't get less than a five. By the 1996 season, the incumbent Schuler had lost his job to the more popular Farrat. We were trying to find a young quarterback. We found a guy in the seventh round ahead of the guy in the first round. That's really what happened. I got to play one down that year, and that was very, very difficult to sit behind and watch. Shula was traded to New Orleans and immediately named the Saints starter. Our number nine draft boss again struggled. And a serious foot injury ended his tenure in the Big Easy. Just the pain was such that there was no way I could continue. And Dick could come up and put his arm around me. He says, he said, hey, that's enough. People say, he told, why in the world did you put yourself through that? I had lost my job because of an injury once, and I made a commitment to myself that there was any way possible I could stay on the field and play. That's what I would do. With his football career over, Schuler set his sights on a return to Washington, and in 2006, he was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. Most of the guys that were athletes that became politicians used their athletic career as a springboard to political office. Well, Schuler had to convince people the opposite was true. Forget what you saw me do on the field. I could be a lot better as a politician. My little boy will take my Washington Redskin helmet and put it on. He says, Daddy, I want to be just like you. And he doesn't know about those interceptions I threw. You know, that's the great thing about it. Well, next story.